Hi, welcome. In this video, I will walk you through creating and publishing a map with ZMaps, a powerful free mapping service on the web. ZMaps allows you to create and publish customizable interactive maps. Let's jump right into it and create a simple map. Here we are looking at the home page of ZMaps. To start off, we're going to create a simple map marking our office location. I click on the Create Map button to get a dialog to configure our new map. I'm going to call this map ZMaps Office Location and ask it to be centered in Cupertino, California because that's where our office is located. Okay, so we now get a brand new Google Map which has all the nice interactive features of Google Maps like panning, zooming and so forth except this is our own map and we can do many things with it like add markers, color regions and so forth. So for here, for the simple map, I'm going to add a marker to it. So I go to the additions menu, select the add marker option and start adding my marker. I'm going to call it ZMaps headquarters, give it our street address 21060 Homestead Road located in the city of Cupertino with a postal code of 95014, country US, state California. Okay, and you can give more information in the details tab or the media tab for photos, videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to just give it a website address to show you how that looks. And go back to the location tab and now we say, okay, find me this particular location. So I hit on the search link here and the first entry here says 21060 Homestead Road. So that looks like the correct one. So I'm going to select that entry. And I'm going to give my marker a color of brown. ZMaps allows you to select about 30 different colors for your markers. And you can also customize the markers by uploading your own marker images. So I like all these things that we have here. So I do a preview and I see that the, the marker is positioned correctly and the information bubble looks like the one that I want it to look. So I'm going to close the preview and do a submit to actually add the entry. Okay, so that added our entry and now we have a map marking the location of our office with a nice information bubble which even points to our website uh, that we can users can click on. So this map is useful for users who are coming to the ZMap server and they can play around with it. If you have a group, you can have them add more markers on the map. You can color regions or upload CSV files or attach Google spreadsheets and so forth. But say I want to publish this map on my own web page. So to do that, I'm going to go to the print or share menu here and get to the publish item, which brings up a dialog box showing me, giving me the code that I need to publish this map on my own web page. I'm going to click on this marker once again to open it up as I want it published to open the marker by default. And I say that to my publish code also, I check the box which says open default marker and says use current center and zoom. So this is the iframe code, the HTML code that will help me show this map on my own website. So I go to my website builder here and most content management systems allow you to publish uh, your own, add your own HTML code. So that's what I'm going to do is to add custom HTML code in my content management system here. So I paste the code that I just got from ZMaps and close this window. And then I say I want to view this page without publishing. Okay, so here we go. We have this map now in our own different website from ZMaps. And this is a map served by ZMaps, but it's showing on another website. And as you notice, when it opened up, it opened the location of our office and to show. And users coming here can now get directions from here to here and so forth. So that's it, folks. Uh, with just a few clicks, a copy and paste, we've now got a brand new interactive Google map on our own web page. So stay tuned and we'll be bringing you more advanced videos on ZMaps. There's much more you can do with ZMaps. While you wait for our videos, you might want to try some of the nifty features of ZMaps for yourself. Bye for now.